Okay, I'm going to show you how to get a God Squad in UFL and walk you through the menu so you know the game and how to use it in 10 minutes. It's actually really, really simple. First of all, you simply just start off and you choose a club name and then you choose a player. This one is kind of important because this will be the player in your team. Uh, if you have the same ones, I would say someone like Camavinga or Cruz, someone that can do everything. Don't go with anyone else like the Walkers. Go with some of the top tier players here. Um, then you want to choose a formation. It's not that important. You can change this later on. And then you're going to be going into the game straight away. Now, this is your team. You're also going to get a random team of other players as well. I'm going to quickly walk you through the menu. So um, this is your team, like ultimate team. I'm going to press start. I'm going to show you exactly what things mean. So let's first of all go here. So you've got player match. So let's start off with options. If we go to settings here, these will be all your settings. You can do your um, controllers. You can use classic, alternate, or you can do custom. And you can actually end it. So if I do cluster, for example, I can individually change the pass button to triangle. So I'll just go to through ball and then I can change it to B, for example, whatever you want to do. I'm doing this on Xbox, um, but that will be it. And also you'll have a list of all the controls. Now, the controls are actually very identical to FIFA FC. If anything, they're basically exactly the same. You're going to see maybe a small different things like a dribble dash or something like that, but that is a, literally about it. Everything else is the same. So whatever controls you use normally, it'll be the same. You see celebrations, your HUD. Um, I'll have a settings one uh, coming soon, but you can change your camera, your game, text, and then screen. Let's get out of that. Now, let's go. So first of all, when you go to my club, you got a squad. Now think in just holistic terms, RB is your reserves. Then you have your sub bench and then you have your main starting 11, just like you have it on FC. OK, now to make things a bit easier, we're going to come back to this. Now you got market, you got skins and you got events. So challenges basically are just daily challenges. You got daily ones and weekly. Don't forget, by the time you're watching this, you should have to play the open beta from the 2nd to the 4th of August. Now, these are things you can do inside the game. So you win three matches in a row, uh, seven matches in a row get 20k uh, credits um, if you do 10 tackles you get um, 20k credits now credits or cp think of this like your currency this is what's used to buy players i'll come over this in a second so you've got different ones you've got daily ones and you've got weekly ones and you're gonna earn cp or league points okay now where what i was the cp how do i buy players now as you can see on the top first of all you got rp you got league points and then you got cp so CP basically means your currency. Think of this as players that you want to buy. You can buy them with this fund. Then you have LP, which I'll get on to later on. And then you have RP. So RP is basically important because this determines your squad size. I didn't notice when a game came out, but as you can see it's 149 out of 270. So if I go to my squad one second, and let's say, for example, my um this player here i can sell them now for 460 right so you can see when i sell this player you can see my rp has increased so this number here the 270 that's the maximum your, your team can be rated so in general the way you earn this is by finishing matches but we'll come back to this in a second it's not that important we'll come back to this in a second so then you have the market so the market basically is not like FC, it's not online market, it's a fixed market where the prices are the same. Kind of like an offline market. And this is a play to this is a play to win game. Okay. You can get, for example, someone like Mbappe. I think I got him under 15 games. Maybe I think even less 10 games. So it's actually not that hard to get. Um, you can arrange them by position, you have loan players, and you can bookmark players. Now as you can see, you can buy a player and you literally, um, you can see here, there's 130,000. Um, you can earn about up to 20,000, 20 million, sorry, and back, uh, Kane is 130 million. You can earn about 20 million-ish per game, depending if you've got the right boost on, but I'll explain that in a second. But this is where you can use to buy any player. And of course, as you go down, players will be cheaper. Um, but as you can see, look, you can see here, you also need the RP. So not only, so if I want to buy this player, so let's say I'm going to choose a player. I'm just going to go all the way down here, all the way to the bottom. And I'm just going to find any player here. Well, let me just 
filter this by position. Let me just go goalkeeper just to make it easier. So let's say, for example, here, I want to buy this goalkeeper. Some of them, they won't cost any coins. You can see this goalkeeper here is a free agent and cost um, nothing. All it will do is it cost me RP. So if I've got, for example, 270 out of 270, that means I can't buy this player. That means I have to go on my squad and I have to sell someone to reduce this number. But because you can see I've got 148.6 out of 270, so I can buy this player. Or let's say I want to buy, for example, this player. I can press that, press buy players. You can see I'm buying him for the currency. And I've also got enough squad space. You can see, for example, like here, new spot. That's, that is adds a new spot to your reserves. And you can see, look here, coins went down. And that is pretty much it from there. Now, when it comes um, to, let's get out of this for a second. Now, when it comes to the actual game itself. So that's how you buy players. You also have items. You can buy, for example, stadiums, kits, boots, badges, gloves, all the other cosmetic stuff. And you can buy boosts. Now, what I would recommend buying, and shout out to the person um, in the Discord that showed me this. Um, there's a few things, and the first thing is called Team Pass. Now, what I'd recommend is um, when you get the game, as you can see, you get 1,000, because I think you should get about 1,000 at least minimum league points. You want to get this elite pass. Think of this like a battle pass. So this is effectively a battle pass. Um, and not only do you get boost from this, you get other items as well. So I'm just going to do it. I'm going to buy it, as you can see. So as you can see how it works, complete, um, you complete play rank matches, you earn star points by completing challenges, you win star points and you receive super rewards. Now this is very important to get that boost. So you basically unlock the battle pass and as you level up, you can unlock these things, but you have to actually purchase them. So you can see, for example, like I bought it, but let's say I want to buy, for example, this one or this one, I have to use points as you can see. So like, as you can see here, let's say this 10 match XP booster, I can press it and you can see here at the top right, the points decrease from 250 to 50. Now I'd, what I'd recommend to buy is what I did basically. Yeah. Buy the following. Okay. Buy the booster for 10 matches for CP. Okay. Buy all the boosters first. Okay. So all the CP boosters first. Because this will give you the most amount of coins, okay? And that one I can't unlock yet. Then I would say get all the XP boost. And then get all the LP. So this way you can upgrade. And you can see you can get this is a pack as well. Get this called a grand pack. I'll show you that in a second. And the reason we're just doing this is because we want to level up as fast as we can. And also um, you want the biggest boost now. I'm just going to unlock these packs as well, just to show you a bit of an example. So you have events, that's the team, that's the battle pass. You have the challenges that I mentioned earlier. Then you have the skin. So you have a store. Okay. Now these you can buy, as you can see with your currency, or you can use points. This is basically skins. Um, and you can see you can buy them. And these are the ones that I got. So you see, I bought them from the pack and you can see, I can open this. Now this is basically like a pack NFC. But the only difference is really is you get these skins. Now, these skins actually have value. So, for example, they can be used to boost a card. So I want to show I'm just going to claim all of them. I'm going to open a second one here. So I'm just going to walk you through this quickly. So you can see I can open this skin, open this skin. OK, I got I got this. OK, that's fine. I'm going to press claim one. I'll come back to this in a second now. And then that's, and then when you go to go back to skins, you can go to library. Now you can see, for example, here, these actually give you a boost. So you can see, um, when you have one of these, for example, like this one, um, you can apply more than three skins, to the same player. From, um, sorry, we can apply more than three skins from the same set. Now, for example, if I give this one as different levels uncommon, so I can give red print to any of my players and that way they will get these boosts. Now it depends. Certain things have certain different ones. Um, I've not really gone over this too much, but this is a bit, you can check this out yourself. It's not that important. Okay. So let's say for example, like here, so you can see I've got a million coins 
I'm just going to buy some players. So realistically, I got 1 million coins. I got 148 out of 270. So I can buy anyone for a million. Now, when you do play this game, I would say just take it with a grain of salt. You know, you're going to be playing this game realistically. It's not going to be better than FC, if you're wondering. Not now. It's got It's got potential, but there's going to be so many bugs. It's going to feel buggy. There's a lot of issues currently inside the game. Just take it with a grain of salt. Anyway, so I'm going to look, for example, for a player here that costs under 1.5, because that's all I can afford right now. And I'm going to look, and you can see the stats on the right-hand side over here. So I'm going to look for a player. So I'm going to see, for example, this player over here. Okay, he's decent. He's got 61 pace. I'm going to buy him. Buy him now. I haven't got enough credits. Okay, fine. That's fine. I can buy this one, which is a bit cheaper. Buy the player. Press buy now. Still have money for that. Let's just buy this one. Okay, now we've got Vucic here. Yeah? Then what you do is you press circle, go go back, should I say rather, go to my club, go to squad, and the player would be in reserves. So you can see here, that's what we put earlier. And then we're going to sub this player here with um, this player that we just got, uh, Vucic. Now, <clears throat> this would be your team. Now, to change formation, you press L2 or left trigger. Then you click on formation and you can choose any formation you want. Now, in terms of tactics, let's say for defensive tactics, ultra attacking tactics in FC, you use the triggers. So you can set, for example, balance tactic of a 4-4-2, attacking tactic of a 4-3-3, and then your defensive tactic of, for example, a 4-1-2-1-2. So you can see, look here, attacking, 4-3-3. Defensive 4 1 2 on 2 and balanced is 4 4 2. Um, and just, rem just remember one, one thing this is very, very important. When you press L2, so I'm going to show you, for example, like here, I'm going to change the balanced formation like this. And as you can see, that changed your main formation. So, like in FC, the balanced formation dictates a lot. So, you ideally want to choose here. So, let's say, for example, the balanced formation here. Let's say we change formation, go over here. So let's say we're going to just use a typical 4-4-2. Then you have tactics, very similar to FC. You've got press of possession loss, pressure on every touch, constant pressure. Then you've got the depth of the defense, the width of the defense, very similar to FC here. Then you've got long ball, fast attack, possession, and balanced. Very, very similar to FC, almost identical. Um, then you have duties. Now, duties are basically instructions. So, like, let's say, for example, if I want my striker to do do attacking runs or get in behind, I can make my striker get in behind, stay forward, and then pass interceptions. I can choose between these different options. So, the, the duties is the instructions, and then you have roles. So, you can, for example, okay, just like an FC... Do you, who do you want the captain to be, etc., etc. Now, once you've done that and you set up your formations for both your defense and your attack, and of course you can have different. So, like if I if I look at my attack tactics, is different. Then I can make this, for example, fast attack, so on. So once you've done that, then this is your team. Now, when you choose a player, okay, you have player info. This shows all their stats. Now, as you can see, it says reach 80 rating to get one point. Okay, what's 80 rating? Now, you can see that's reach 80 rating. And you can see this one over here. We've got the player info. This is reach um, 90 rating to get one point. So you have to level them up. Now, you can see you need XP out of 32.7K to level up crews. Okay, why is this important to level up crews? I'll explain to you in a second. Every single player is different. So, for example, this player only needs 3.2k EXP. Do you see why the EXP boost is very, very important? So, that is how you level the players up. What do you do when you level a player up? Well, you can do skills. Now, if I press, for example, R, um, square, well, square or X on PlayStation. Oh, sorry, Square on PlayStation, X on Xbox. Always forget when there's different consoles. But um, if you go to skills, so these are effectively, think of these like play style boost, okay? So you can see, for example, like here, this tells you how much EXP you need. And for example, you can get a play style boost. So you can see, for example, um, I can do Predator. I can improve set pieces. I can get the Interceptor. And you can see, for example, some of these players have it, like naturally he has that already, Machida. 
but like for example like here if i want him to be i don't know improve short pass i can literally just level him up but you need to have skill points to do this so you do that by playing more matches so just to show you an example we're just very quickly going to go into game and i skip to the end okay so we just fast forwarded we went in that game and as you can see look we played one game and we won what 22 million um don't forget this is the the beta so you know don't worry about not saving it so you can see for example like here we won a game and you can see look on the top right if i if i go to the top right you can see look now i have 20 million so the 20 million i can literally buy whoever i want now this is the thing mbappe is 160 you can literally play eight games maybe even less and get mbappe so it's actually really easy to get some of the best cards inside the game um, but that's just a quick overview I wanted to give you um, in terms of how to basically play this game. And you can see, look, I've done some challenges. So I've claimed rewards. I can, I can claim, as you can see, more coins. So you can see, like, here, if you look on the background, look, I've already got 60 million. 60 million. Now I can literally afford whoever I want. I, I can't get Mbappe per se. Um, maybe after a few more games. But for example, I can immediately get a top tier player. I could, for example, get a player, any one of these players, it's not that important, but I could get anyone I want, <coughs> like Lamine Yamal. And then once you've got the player, one thing I wanted to show you as well is you got divisions. So as you can see, look here, I claim another, and I've got 80 million now. And look, in the space of like one second, like you can see just from a few matches, I've got a god squad. And now these points up means the level up thing I was showing you earlier. So you can see skills. So I can, I got, as you can see, I've got two skill points. So I can, for example, spend on a protector. Then I'll get the low effect. If I do it again, I'll get the medium effect. And um, you can choose different skills for different players. And the player's ratings will also go up overall as well. So you can see, like, as I said, Cruz, um, as you can see, he needed a bit more. He needs... 6.9 he's got 6.9k he needs up to 32k to get that let to get that then you can choose whatever you want every position has a different one as well and you can for example choose what you want you can see example i get here i got again your points i can go for example one timer and i can do for example acquired position so that is how literally you can make a god squad you can see even with with the money that i got I literally can buy in this maybe like five six more games i can literally buy whoever i want um, and that is how effective you can get a gold squad and that is how you play ufl i hope this helped give you a bit of a quick start guide then you have a few other things that are not really important that like, you know i could set you know specific player to have like long socks stuff like that it's this is not really too important but it's nice to have and um I hope this can help. Then you can see, for example, it's talking about skins earlier. So you can see, for example, like here, I can put it on that player. And now I've got that skin applied. And now that player is going to look nice. And you can also unassign it if you want to. And um, as you can see, you can get the tier one. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to join UFL or start playing it even until today. I believe it's the fourth. Links down in the description. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you next time. Peace out.